A big old hunk of catalpa. I got tired of getting beat up, so I did a little creative chainsawing, took the corners off. Uh, right here, right here, just to save some time, and hopefully I can get my uh, lathe up to speed now. Oh yeah, a lot better. more than what it was. Long ways to go. Well, not too awful long, actually. Flat spot, bark spot, flat spot, huge bark spot. Should I leave it or should I take it off? I gotta take the outside diameter down a little bit so it may came off, come off anywho. Alright, hey everybody. It's been a couple days. I had to uh, put a lot of finish on the outside and I figured I'd make it nice. Let's get hollowing this thing out. We're at about 700 RPM. That's still resharpen.
All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. A lot of on off, on off. I'm trying to get the walls nice and thin, and then I got a weird taper at the bottom. So we're close. We are very close. We got about three sixteenths, maybe quarter inch on the sides. That bottom is just a little fat yet, so right where I'm making the curve, I got to plunge in and then go over to the center. I don't want to go too far because my uh, tenon is actually inset from the bottom, so I got to be careful. A little bit more, a little bit more, and then we'll scrape her out and see where we're at. corner we're down to about a half inch and then uh, near the foot we're at about three quarter I just want to ease up on it This is the point in time where quite a few hours of work could end up in a scrap pile. We still got a little wiggle room. Not much though. Trying to make a lightweight bowl so it feels nice in the hand when you pick it up. A little bit more in the bottom, I believe. I hope. a decent cut all the way to the center on that one I think I might call it because we still got scraping sanding I don't have any big tool marks so it shouldn't be that big of a deal all right I'm gonna get the scraper in there and I'll turn you back on when it's time for sanding all right close as I dare go it looks pretty decent in there I got a couple little ridges I think I can get out with my uh, I think this is like 60 grit, it may be 80, but this wood is soft enough I'm pretty sure I can get them out. If not, I'll go back in there with a carbide and touch them up a bit. Okay, well this is going to go on for 20 or 30 minutes. I'll turn you back on when I get ready to flip it around okay there comes a point in time especially with softwoods as you can see we got tight grain loose grain or tight winter growth and summer growth well in between here these dark lines has a fur that just will not cut off with sand, regular sanding so 
you have to put a sealer in there to firm up those fibers so when you do a final sand they will cut off otherwise you'll never get rid of the fur so that's what I'm putting a thin coat of shellac in there and I'm going to use it as a sanding sealer let it soak into the wood it'll stiffen up those fibers and then the uh, sandpaper will cut them off But all in all, she's turning out pretty nice. Got quite a bit of figure in this wood. I love this catalpa. A lot of tiger stripe or compression grain, whatever you want to call it. I always called it tiger stripe. That's what it reminds me of. Nice highlights. The rim come out pretty decent. Okay, we got a thin coat on there. We're going to let this dry and then I'll final sand it. We'll see just how smooth we can get it. We got her flipped around. I'm pretty happy with the finish so far. Uh, this tenon is already below the lip. So just in case I went too deep, I'm going to actually leave it on there, but I'm going to clean it up and make it look nice. Just nibble away at it. Scrape that bottom a little bit and get that cleaned up. That should be good enough. Yep, much better. Alright, I'm going to pop this off, sand up the bottom, sign it, and get a finish on it. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Nice catalpa bowl. Uh, the sides come out very thin. Uh, the little step in the thing, I copied that step inside. And uh, it kind of has the shape of a uh, ceramic bowl from back in the day. That's what I was shooting for. It's got a very nice figure. Got a decent finish on it. Bottom signed, it needs a coat of finish. And I think we can call it good. Left that little bit of rough spot in there. Crack. All stabilized. A little bit of Mother Nature. Thank everybody for watching. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. Your, you know, your choice. And, uh, Subscribe if you're not. Thank you very much. See you next time. Play nice.